Hey guys, I'm Chauncey Beard, and welcome back to The Walking Dead Season 1. Uh, picking up where we left off. Uh, this is the first part, uh, sorry, second part, um, of the first episode. Uh, last time, uh, we just, uh, experienced The Walking Dead as the dead has rose and walkers are wa walking around. And as we are playing as Lee, uh, we just just happened to meet Clementine at her house and right now we're just about to about to leave before it gets dark because you know how monsters are like when they're in the dark so oh man I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate this sucks oh it's hot dish night seems like these two are the ones that we need need to get out of they seem they seem to have a better chance of survival. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Uh... I won't leave you alone. Yeah. Let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, that... I got it. It's not appropriate. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. <laughs> We're not gonna eat yeah. you. We're not I'll that shitty, honestly. You and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Sean Green. This is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. Yeah. I'm... Uh, uh mm, just some just guy. some guy. Some guy? Yeah. Yeah. She's alone. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. Mm-hmm. What do you want to do? I... Why would you ask that question now, Lee? For oh, God's sake. The monster's coming. We gotta go. Yep, here they come. Lee, quick. Let's go. Okay, we gotta, we gotta get out of here. Oh, we gotta push the car. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. Come on. Gotta push. Oh, that's not good. Come on. Come on. Push, push, Clementine even helping out. Get in, get in, jump in. Yeah, Chet, jump in the back. Jump in the trunk. Seat. For just some guy, it seems like you've saved a bunch of lives today. Yeah, well this is only the beginning. And this is only the second part. It's night time. And we're still on the road. Seems quite quite uh, seems quiet and peaceful. So we're at a farm. He said said only at the farm. Yep. Oh this is a good farm. Nice house, nice barn, nice out back. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Yeah. See ya, Chet. Thank God you're okay. It's Herschel Green! I was worried it'd be bad oh here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. We'll break my down God, I haven't seen Herschel in a while. I wouldn't have made it back without I'm kind of shot at what happened well, in the I'm television you series. Took with you I ain't now. gonna spoil it, guys. While well, you have to figure out yourself. You've brought a couple guests. Yep, we're guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter He's then. Oh, oh, not his no. daughter. He's well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? 
Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks oh. like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Pretty bad indeed. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Alright, Herschel. It's great to see him again. Looks so good. <laughs> Just Let's have a look. It. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. <laughs> it hurts like hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? <laughs> it's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. I show. Let's see. How'd this happen? It was a car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? Oh. Oh, I, uh. Just uh, uh, out for a drive. drive. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Uh, I have I to be was reasonable. With a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Hmm. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. He's right. There is some shit going on. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Yeah. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. No, you didn't. Well, I'm mother. all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. I know I shouldn't say that to her show. He's a good man. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Oh, shit. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be perfect. <laughs> There's blankets and such face. in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright Look and early. Look at Lamptine's face. He was like, Come tomorrow, was, which way you think you're headed? He was headed? like confused. Ford's making, I suppose. All right, then. So I guess we'll be sleeping in the barn. Nice. It smells like... <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. <laughs> I couldn't help it. It's funny. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. Mm. How far is Savannah? Uh, pretty far. Oh. Yeah, pretty far. Okay. You go to sleep, Clementine. And Lee sleeps as well. I love you, baby. <laughs> That's just <nice. laughs> What was that? What was that? I'm surprised. Hey, get up. Okay. <sighs> uh, just I'm a little sleepy. Itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? <laughs> I'm uh, not her dad. Classic. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the Classic middle of the fence. Kenny. There's a tractor and everything. Nice. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Uh. 
dodging, dodging or, quack? or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? I see. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Uh, sure. sure. We'll, we'll tag, tag along. along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. 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 That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get That's to work. Her. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Mm. Duck and I will hop to it. All right. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. All right. Very well then. Let's talk to them first. Hey there, girls. You two Cheers. actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, oh. how was that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, you're good? Just, just showing off. Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Mm -hmm. All right. How did you handle getting through the city? Yeah. Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Don't what you happened want to go to back me? to the moment before you knew about all of this? Yeah. This could all be providence, you know? Not yeah. what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your yeah, optimism is refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. Yeah, I feel like there was a reason so, for that. Uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, wow. Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. I sure hope so. Uh, yeah, my mistake. Yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. I don't know why I said on that last one. I don't know why. Let's talk to Kenny. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hi. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Kenny. Uh, need any need help? Any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? What, what do you mean? I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Uh... Nah, no, nah, no, no, no kids. No kids. But liked one then. You know. Hmm. How's your son doing? Something. Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Yeah. So what's so, your family's plan? Yeah. Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Yeah. See ya. Boats are great. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, boats are great. I would like to get on a boat. Do some fishing. 
got stuck on a tree. That's okay. Let's talk. Let's talk to Doc first. How are you doing, Doc? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> He's pretty good. Uh, let's hey, talk Lee. to... Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. All right. I saw some wood. I saw that Dad coming. Doesn't know how <laughs> bad it is. Good. No. It's good job. He doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid, a boy. Just shot him right in the face. Oh my God. Fucking damn. damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They no. don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh. Uh. I... Uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. I sure hope so. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. All right. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. Yeah. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Okay. Oh, there he is. He's coming to the barn now. With a pitchfork. Let's go talk to him right now. Marshall. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a I got ride, ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Oh, yeah, obviously. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? <laughs> Girlfriend. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. Mm -hmm. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Uh, sure. What is sure. It? I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. True then that. At least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Yeah. Huh? What's going on? Something's going on. No! I'll get my gun. Okay. <laughs> oh, I know that sound. This is some walkers. I'm trying to catch. Oh no, Sean, stop. Will. Oh no, done. Oh no. Oh god. Shoot. Uh, damn it. Help me! I'm coming, duck. I can't wriggle him off. I'm kidding. Oh, yeah. Take that. I got it down. Now, Sean. Get this tractor off of me! Oh, no. Please! Kenny. Help me! Please! Kenny. Ah! Oh, my God. 
Try to help. Oh my god. I thought I could help them both. both. You thought wrong. And now. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Damn it. Marshall's banished us. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Unfortunately, we don't have much choice. This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Yep. It's far enough. Damn. We're probably not going to see her show again, damn it. It's kind of hard um, when you have two sons to try and say. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! Fuck! Jenks, you owe me a coke. We're but trapped! We... Oh no. <laughs> ah, no, die! No, no. Wait, no! Oh god. Oh no. Run! Got shot. Nice shooting, whoever you are. Damn it. We just say duck, and now is this what's gonna happen to him? Better not. God. This we is can't bad. take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. And we let him. We have we kids, kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? Is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God great. damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here, but it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in yeah. my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of what? a bitch. One of them is bitten. I... He wasn't bitten. I don't think Hell he was bitten. wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one That's hole. Fair. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Hey, Shut the stop fuck him. up. What do we do Bastard. about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We'll get this kid out of here. We I kick his ass. ass. That's what I'm thinking. 
Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! Don't you- He's not bitten! Please stop this! It's upsetting him! Oh, God, this guy's I'm not upsetting fucking him. listening. Upsetting is getting eaten alive! Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like You it. shut up! Sit down! Sit down. Well, that's, well, that's it. it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? <laughs> <laughs> homo <laughs> parade. <good>. Little boy, <laughs> before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill God. him, cat. Just worry about duck. Lee! I don't mind. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Yeah. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you are you're just fucking the guy the bad arguing guy. for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. But he's a little boy. I think we can handle him. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! That's it. Knock this guy sorry. out. Happily. Oh, oh. Jesus! Oh. oh, man. Oh, Kenny! Uh-oh. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Jesus! Go <laughs> one time! Thanks, you only go to God God damn it, please can't say on these fucking feet. Oh Jesus. Oh god. I gotta Oh Clementine! I'm coming, Clementine! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! <laughs> yeah, you son of a bitch. Uh oh. Oh no, where is it? Bitch. Come on! Come on! Oh no, I'm losing! I'm losing! Oh god. Thank god I'll wear the shit. That was fucking close. You okay? Yeah. Just great, thanks. What was that? Uh, guys? Oh no. Oh, that's bad. Everybody down! Stay quiet! They're gonna get in! Shut up! The military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. Hopefully it's we almost military. died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, you better. Uh, Dad! Uh, what the? Uh, uh, we should. Yeah, he should be dead right there. What? What's wrong with him? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Uh, we'll have to do it. it looks that's like... probably another entrance. Maybe through the, the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need yeah. nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. All Everyone right. else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting mm. to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't yeah. exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all minute. get out of downtown Macon. Is that Glenn? Fast. Agreed. Now I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. That is Glenn. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Yeah. You know your way around? around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. You. What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you. You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. Doug. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when I he needs it. it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. 
You got it, boss. Now get right. him those pills. All right, we'll have to do it another uh, ne another part, guys. But yeah, another another twi twist to this first episode. But think things will probably, hopefully, um, turn out better than we expected. But um, but I'm gonna save it for the next part. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button in case if you guys guys want me to help help this channel grow. Um, make sure you hit that like button if you guys like these videos. Um, and make sure you leave a comment down below if you have any other suggest suggestions. Um, but yeah, this series is gonna be amazing. I promise you that. Hopefully, hopefully there will be great comments about it. But until then, I'll see I'll see you guys.